Hi everyone, it's Marissa from the Shamrock Stamper and it's about 1 a.m. and I've been trying to get this video to cooperate with me and it hasn't so here I am and this is my last try because I am exhausted. Anyway, my, my inspiration for this week for my creative challenge shopping ban is the Mariposa stack and it's one I've had for, gosh, I would say almost uh, over a year at least. And this has foiled papers, it has glittered papers, it has plain papers. Well, nothing in here is plain, that's for sure, but um, gosh, look how beautiful this is. And I didn't even use it. I don't think I even used it once until I pulled it out for this. Anyway, um, I'm going to start out by showing you what I've made um, with this stack. And then I have one other stack that I started on that I haven't uh, made very much with, but I'm going to show you that as well. So here we go. The first item I made is this trivet. You can kind of see it here. Um, it's a ceramic tile trivet, and I used Mod Podge, the um, glossy Mod Podge, to go ahead and adhere it, adhere it down. And then I layered it about five or six times with Mod Podge. And I am going to kind of test it and see, you know, how heat resistant it is. Um, but I think I'm going to do it on a, another one. I'm going to make a sample one out of some cracked up tile that I have. Because I don't want to ruin this one. It's too pretty. So anyway, and then on the back, um, I have these little felt feet that I put on it. Because I actually use this piece of ceramic tile on my table as a trivet and it worked out very nicely so love this so pretty all right now on to some cards that i created with the mariposa stack two of them that are fairly similar uh, right here and i used a little bit of wrinkled ribbon that i purchased again probably about a year ago a whole spool spool of it may arts and I have been able, um, it's before the, I think the whole seam binding thing, and um, what I had done was taken some of my Glimmer Mist, my Tattered Angels, and I had sprayed this and had a lot of fun with it. So um, I, I've used quite a bit of it, but still quite a bit left. So, um, And also on these cards I used this set, um, it's a Unity Stamp Company set, Today Special. Um, and it's a co-brand with Webster's Pages, and a lot of you are probably familiar with Webster's Pages with all their um, pretty um, well papers and stamps and other embellishments. And then I took one of my gel pens, my Sakura Stardust gel pen, and I just went ahead and traced the entire stamped image, and I did that on both of those. Oh, I can't leave well enough alone, I suppose. And then I also used on these some, a package I picked up from Hobby Lobby and never used, the mosaic tiles, the little acrylic tiles, and they're really pretty. I'm kind of actually kind of surprised, and I should use these more often. You probably have some in your craft room that you may have never used, or you've stared at them in the aisles waiting to purchase them and never have. Well, they're cool, so go ahead and give them a try. So those two from that paper. I also made, I have two of the exact same one, I made two of these, flowers bloom effortless, effortlessly, just like friends, love the sentiment, and this is actually from that stack, and it's textured, you can't see it, I tried to see if I could see it with the camera before, and no, you can't, but it is textured, use some pearls here, a little bit more of that wrinkled ribbon with a PTI button right here, so got two of those done, good for me. So I can use those whenever. And then I have a few of them that I haven't really done a design for yet. Just kind of blank note cards. So very beautiful papers. So there's that. And I also went a little crazy. I thought I'd make some bookmarks. How cool is that? And I have some like the, the fabric flowers, like the Webster's Pages trim, and I was thinking about punching that and then doing like a trim of some of that, some of those roses I haven't decided yet, but um, I also did this with Mod Podge as well to give it a nice stiff feeling, and I did layer it with a piece of cardstock, and I'll be kind of finishing off the back here. So that is what I did with the Mariposa stack. And then I used an Animal Cracker stack, which is also die cuts with a view. And I haven't really done a whole lot, but I thought I'd make some little kid birthday cards. And all of these 
colored tickets that I never used first time. So I used a paper tray ink set, and it was their, um, I think, birth birthday basics. And I just went ahead and did that. So super simple. I'll probably put some twine on there or something, some buttons. They look kind of... But anyway, they were quick. They were easy. Um, thank you folks for following with me and some of you who kind of jumped on the bandwagon and are giving this shopping ban a try. Um, remember to post a comment on my blog to be registered to win the weekly drawing. And I do post it, post the person um, on my blog who won. And I do contact them, but I do need you to contact me with your mailing address or you don't get your stuff. And I have mailed out all of them that, who have won so far and given me their addresses. So, um, and also, you do get that extra entry. Don't forget, you get the extra entry if you go ahead and um, put a direct link to a project that you created with something from your stash. So. Hopefully this has inspired you to get those 8x8 eight eight stacks out that you never used or used minimally because you can make so many just quick cards with them. Um, so anyway, have a wonderful week and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.